So it's do as I say, not as I do. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store, The Officer Tatum Store. Get the link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Hit that join button so you can join the Tatum Squad. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, the hypocrisy continues. I cannot believe. <laughs> They, they y'all giving me y'all giving me videos to make. I did not want to make a video today. I was trying to chill and hang out, but I had to say something. When these Democrats are so hypocritical, it blows my mind. My mind is blown. Somebody call in the police. This, something is not right. When you are sitting in a position of power, like the mayor of Denver. You tell people do not travel because the COVID is out of control and, it, and it's coming for your family. And you take your narrow behind on an airplane to do exactly what you told them not to do. I'm going to say, y'all don't have to believe me. I'm going to show you the evidence. Evidence, evidence, evidence. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this Look at this guy. Um, this is this is the K Houston, uh, K Houston 11. This is their news channel. Shout out to them for, for promoting real news, not fake news. But it says, after wanting to avoid travel, Denver Mayor Mr. Hancock flies to Houston for Thanksgiving. Now, let's read down here. I'm going I'm to let you play. I'm going to play what he said so you can see what he's telling the people out of his own mouth and what he actually did. Roll the film. When it comes to the spread of the coronavirus, we're on a very dangerous path. We're seeing rapid, significant increases in the numbers of people getting sick, and many of those people ended up in the hospital. And this has been the situation for the past 40 days, creating a sustained and worsening situation. Is that right, Mr. Mayor? Is that bad? Go ahead and finish. Across the state, including here in the metro area, hospitalizations have increased over 40% in just the last week. All right, I'm done listening to what he said. You can tell that he's going on this tangent in a in a meeting, a Zoom call meeting with I don't know if it's if it's his uh, other people that are employed by the by the city or whatever the case may be. He's on a Zoom meeting with these other people, and he's 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 going through the motions of saying that. Then this is the way. This is what it reads. It says Denver Mayor Michael Hancock boarded a flight to Houston ahead of Thanksgiving, despite his warning to the people to. A warning that the people should stay at home um, and only spend the holidays with their own household if they can, is what it says. And a spokesperson confirmed that Hancock was traveling to Houston Wednesday to visit his daughter in Mississippi. And his wife was already there. So that means his wife already traveled. Now he finna get on a plane and travel down there. About 30 minutes before the flight, Mr. Hancock tweeted this down here. Pass the potatoes, not COVID. Stay home as much as you can, especially if you're sick. Okay, I get that. But you're telling people to stay home. You got a mask on in your, in your little emoji thing right there. This is what they doing. They throwing all these risks out here. But you take your ashy elbows and you run to Houston to be with your family. And, 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 and I don't know who else is there with his daughter. Who else is with his daughter? Her boyfriend? Brother. And we just seen we just seen Gavin Newsom do the same thing not too long ago. He says all of these things, shut down Thanksgiving, wear a doggone mask. The people in the community need you to do your part. He take his ashy elbows over to Napa Valley and have a whole dinner around I don't know how many families. Do as I say, not as I do. These Democrats are so fraudulent, it's crazy to me. If you really believe that COVID is that bad, they wouldn't be traveling. They wouldn't be going to Napa to eat a $200 dinner. The the tab, uh, Gavin Newsom's tab was like $15,000 or something like that. Crazy amount of money they spent. Just to go out, nobody had a mask on. It was enclosed. They had one door open. It was too cool, so they shut the door. They in a, they in a glass box. And they telling you and, and dispatching police to serve you if you pass curfew, and they out living their life, partying it up. They out, they out, they at the club, 
and they telling you you can't do nothing. They're shutting down your business. They're shutting down your livelihood. But they at the club. They at the club. I'll, I'll, I'll just jiggy with it. But you got to sit at home and you got to be miserable. You can't see your family. It can't be more, multiple households. Why? When they know that 95, 99.6% of everybody that get the COVID recovers from it. That means that millions of people have recovered, but they don't give you none of those numbers. They only tell you how many people have died with COVID. They don't tell you how many people have died from it. They say how many people have died with it, which is about 200,000 people that have died with it. There's only about 9,000 people, a little less than 10,000 people that died from it with no comorbidities. That's facts. And they don't want to tell you that because they're fraudulent. Because they're, they're deep state operatives, in my personal opinion. Or they're leveraging money and resources to push an agenda so that they can get rich in the background while y'all getting poor and your business shutting down. I don't understand how anybody can vote for Democrats at this point. I don't understand. And I know people that voted for Democrats. Because they want hope and change and peace and harmony at the expense of your business. At the expense of your livelihood. And they're not even by, abiding by what they're saying. Cuomo did the same thing. Cuomo did the same thing. Tucker Carlson exposed uh, Cuomo because he, while he had COVID, he got caught out with a dude on a bike. The guy almost got into a fight. The dude confronted him in public. He don't say anything. Then he get a letter from his apartment complex because he's walking around an apartment complex with no mask on, exposing people, and nothing happens. Nothing happens. But y'all can just, you know, you keep going there. You're going through the motions. I'm not going to stop you. Just know that these Democrats are fraudulent. They're hypocrites. Do as I say, not as I do. That's the whole mantra. They are millionaires and billionaires. And they're telling you, oh, millionaires and billionaires are, are, are doing are bad people and they should pay more taxes. Oh, really? Obama living at Martha's Vineyard. That's one of his houses. They're billion. They're, million, they're multimillionaires. With billions of dollars worth of influence. And they telling you. Uh, 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 rich man bad. And they rich. They are filthy rich. And they never built anything. They've just been politicians. Filthy rich. And they telling you. That you should be giving all your money up. Let me say this before I close. Why don't they pay more taxes? No, no. You don't, you don't, have, to, you don't have to wait for Jeff Bezos. Why don't y'all pay more taxes? Why don't you just give more money to the treasury? No, because you know you don't want to do that. You want to use other, other people's money. Somebody worked hard to get money stacked up this high. You feel like because you only worked to stack your money this high, that they should pull, they should take most of their money because they got more than you. That is absolutely unequivocally stupid. And I know we ain't falling for it. But anyway, I thought I'd I'd uh, highlight this mayor, the mayor, Mr. Hancock from uh Denver, Colorado. Do as I say, not as I do. Tells people to stay at home as much as you can and don't go out with your family. And then he go see his family and live his life. Anyway, I could talk about this for three or four more hours, but you let me know what you think in the comment section. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Visit the Officer Tatum store and visit TatumReport.com. TatumReport.com. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.